This is a video comparing two different types of tank cleaning system. Spinning spray balls versus rotary jet cleaners. A spinning tank cleaner is a fluid driven tank cleaner that rotates and liquid is fired out of slots within this tank cleaner and it is brought to bear on each part of the tank in a 360 or 180 degree spray pattern. A rotary jet cleaner on the other hand is another type of tank cleaner and with this we have two or four high powered jets that are rotate under the fluid action in two axes and these jets are brought to bear on each part of the tank in a set cleaning pattern. So what are the pros and cons of these two different styles of tank cleaner? Well firstly let's have a look at the spinners. First the primary advantage of a spinner is they're fairly cheap. They range in cost between 150 and about 500 pounds so they're a relatively cheap, a cost effective a bit of kit. Second advantage is they're a very simple design and not as simple as something like a static spray ball which we cover in another video but nevertheless it's just a simple ball bearing mounted rotating system. There's no gears in there or anything like that and it's a relatively simple design. So there's not a lot to go wrong in them. And the third advantage is they are designed to run between sort of one and three bar fluid pressure. So it's a low pressure system. So there's no need for any higher pressure pumps there. And if you're swapping over from a spray ball to a spinner, you're probably going to be using the same pump. So what are the disadvantages? What are the cons of a spinner? They will be less effective than the rotary jet cleaners because they only have a kind of medium impact. They'll be more effective than a spray ball, but they only have a kind of medium impact. And so they still require a fair amount of water to get the job done. Not as much as a spray ball, but certainly way more than a rotary jet cleaner. The second disadvantage is they're limited in their range. I mean, you can only really clean a tank of about you know, four, maybe five meters in diameter with these. And if you've got a bigger tank, you're gonna need multiple tank cleaning heads to clean it. And spinners, even though they've got increased mechanical action over a, a static spray ball, they may not be able to still clean really, really tough residues in any sensible amount of time. So they may not be suitable for all residues. So what are the advantages of a rotary jet cleaner? As you can probably guess they're far more water efficient. They have a lot more mechanical action, a lot more impact to deliver the cleaning. And so this means we can use less water, less caustics. So they're far more efficient than spinners. They also have an increased range. So rotary jet cleaners, you can get some models which will have effective cleaning jets of up to 20, 25 meters in length. So you can clean very, very big tanks. Theoretically, a 50 meter diameter tank could be cleaned in one tank cleaner. So they've got a very, very big range. So you can clean bigger tanks with them. The final advantage is, is they will generally reduce the time it takes to clean any given tank. Cleaning cycles can be reduced depending on the residue and the type of tank by a factor of two, a factor of three, maybe even more than that. So you can really, really be time efficient with it when compared to spinners. So what are the disadvantages of a rotary jet cleaner? Well, first is cost. So these units cost around about two and a half thousand pounds. So they're four, five, maybe six times more expensive than a humble spinner. So they're more expensive. They also need to be run at a higher pressure. They can be run at sort of two or three bar pressures on some models, but really to get the most out of them, to get all the advantages out of them, you wanna be running them over six bar, and ideally sort of eight to 10 bar fluid pressure. So you may need to change your pump. That's gonna increase your pumping costs. So there's a higher fluid delivery cost there. And lastly, they're more complex to maintain. We have a geared system in there. We have turbines in there. There is more to go wrong. They are very reliable bits of kit, but they do require more maintenance than a simple spinner. So conclusions, rotary jet cleaners tend to be overall cheaper and more cost effective in the long run for most applications. This is because they're far more water efficient and time efficient. So those cost savings add up over time and they generally fairly rapidly will offset any additional costs associated with extra pumping and the extra hardware costs themselves. So they generally work out cheaper in the long run than most applications and they're more efficient. However, spinners definitely still have their place and they definitely do overcome some of the limitations of static spray balls, another type of tank cleaner. In many situations, they may actually be the optimal choice. And so they definitely still have their place in many applications, particularly for sort of small to medium sized tanks with lighter residues. So that's our video on spinners versus rotary jet cleaners.